start as well? Start us. Okay. Hey guys! Do you want, do you want me to yeah. say hi? <laughs> hi everyone. We are up here in North New Jersey hanging out with our friends Casey and Josh of Frank Design Company. Um, they are the ones who built our van with us and we've been up here doing some work on it. Yes, we had some things on our to-do list. We love the van, obviously, but there are a couple of changes that we wanted to make, so mm -hmm. that's what we're doing. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> so we are packing up today. Um, we are getting back out in the van. We're driving up to North Jersey to visit our friends at Frank Design Company for the next couple of weeks. We are going to work on some things with the van. How's it going in here? It's going. Yeah. Just getting it all back in order. Just driving the van. Some of our projects with the van have been rewiring and reconfiguring our electrical. All right, we're here at Frank Design Company um, with our good friends, Josh and Casey. This is where the van was built. Um, and what we're doing right now is redoing the electrical. Um, so we're not adding or changing any components. Um, we're just taking it all out, reorganizing it, rewiring it, putting it back together, and hopefully we're gonna have some really great results. This is our current electrical system setup. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a little bit of a mess. <laughs> our inverter is buried under here which after living in the van for almost six months now, we know that that needs to be more accessible um, to troubleshoot some things. We also need to rewire our batteries um, to have them hooked up in series and parallel to hopefully make the most out of the voltage.
Yeah? We waterproofed um, our entire plumbing area, waterproofed all of that, um, screwed everything down really tight, tightened up all our connections, and kind of changed the back a bit. What are you doing? This is a nice cool spot. Things have been going really well with our changes that we've made. Um, so this is not totally finished yet, but as you can see, we moved our Weeboos to out here. We have our two batteries, our inverter, and then all of these things fully accessible and easily reached. Uh, we've got one vent installed here, we're gonna put another little vent here. Looking over at our water, we have Red Guard waterproofed everything down here. We've put these two pans in underneath. They were like burner covers that were like 50 cents at the dollar store um, for a four pack, um, which was awesome. And put those underneath just in case we have any water leaks, which hopefully we won't. Um, we have moved our other two batteries. We have one under here and we're gonna put the other one here. Um, and then we will put terminal covers on those um, just you know to be safe and then snake a cord up here up through the ceiling down this way into our other batteries so looking good We added a lock to our fold-up table, so that way I can't accidentally knock it over. <laughs> yes. Yeah, lots of other little small projects, like that lock, um, just adding some extra door catches, um, like the magnet latches some yeah. places um, to prevent things from sliding open when we are driving, um, touch-up paint. Sarah said it was touch-up paint, and then she repainted the van. Not, not all <laughs> of the van, but I got carried away. <laughs> it looks better now. It looks great. Good morning. Another day of work here on the van. Today we're doing some cleaning and touch up paint um, before we finish up the back section. Sarah's just painting away. We have made a lot of changes to the back, which I'm super stoked about. So it's not done yet, but this section over here is done and we are really excited about it. So we got rid of our fresh water gauge. We didn't use it. Um, we would always just look at the tank and um, we just figured that it wasn't quite the right size um, for our tank, so we had to do some fixes and it's just better to get rid of it. Um, so we moved all of our gauges from down here to up here. They're all really nice and black now, which we like. And then we've got this door here, which is access to our water section. We've Red Guard waterproofed the whole thing. We have these pans set underneath here. Um, and yeah, everything is doing really, really well. And we are very excited about the new look of the back section here. We still have our light for the garage. Um, just on this side now, and we have all this open space here. Um, we haven't quite finished the electrical, so we'll do a tour of that when we have. 
while we've been up here, it hasn't been all work. Um, we have had some fun as well. We've gone on a lot of really great hikes. Um, we have, of course, cooked some good food. We made donut holes. Josh one and night. Casey have a deep fryer. So. Game changer. <laughs> Game changer. Yep. That was delicious. Um, and we went um, rock climbing one night at um, the camp that Josh's family owns. Um, so there's nobody there, and we were able to go hang out, play some games, and enjoy their rock wall. Definitely. It's been a fun week. Yeah.
Thank you guys for watching. We love having you along on this journey. We hope that you all have a great week. Um, stay safe and healthy and we'll see you next week. See ya. Bye. So windy. It was not windy. Like it was beautiful. Like no breeze, just like gorgeous. It's been gorgeous weather this week, but now as soon as we set this up, and found the spot. It took us like 15 minutes to figure out where we wanted to do this. It was just like gust. Okay. All right, are we ready? Yeah, oh my stop. gosh, now I have something in my eye. Oh no, do you need help? No.